Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, and this is episode number 92 of our Pacific Campaign on War on the Sea. Currently, we are with the USS Grampus. USS Grampus was on patrol, and they came across a fairly sizable supply convoy. Uh, the convoy is made up of, I believe, merchant. Uh, yeah, it's made up of merchants. Go figure. Uh, several troop ships and I believe some oilers. Um, it is three o'clock in the morning, and as you can see, it's very dark. Grampus is moving in on the attack. Unfortunately, I can't see anything at all, which means you are not going to be able to see anything at all either. Yeah, see, I, I can't see anything. But they are there. Uh, we are 5,000 yards out. I did target this troop-carrying hospital ship. Uh, I believe we do have a tanker. Or two, or three. This is something I haven't seen much of. One of these guys. Uh, we've also got one of those and one of these. All steaming peacefully. Their crews sleeping after having a quiet day. Um, they're headed towards Guam, so Grampus is going to put torpedoes out. Uh, whether or not they hit the Earl Maru is another story. Um, I'm going to close to within... If I can manage, about 3,000 yards. Make that 4,000 yards, and then I'm going to uh, order Grampus to fire a full spread of six with a two-degree separation of torpedoes. Uh, real shitty solution. Um, hopefully, the dud rate is not normal. And Grampus can score herself at least a heavily damaged warship. I'm not going to surface because um, I'm fairly sure some of those uh, ships have guns. Well, Grampus failed miserably. Two hit, two dud, the rest missed. So, unfortunately, uh, it is what it is. Uh, we could actually probably swing Grampus around and launch on one of these other ships. I think I might actually do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, find some nice juicy target we might actually be able to hit. This guy looks pretty ballsy, so we'll uh, take a look at him, see what we can find out. He's got three Kamigawa Maru. Yeah, Grampus is turning right now. Unfortunately, I think she's turning in the wrong direction. Oh, we could do some time compression here. No arm, no foul, I guess. 
could also target one of these guys, seems that'd probably be an easier shot. But we're gonna have to do it before they disappear. Or shot for torpedoes. Right, do it. There we go, the stern tubes. It looks like they're No, they're turning. They're turning. So, Grampus is going to continue on in that general direction. Uh, we'll see if we hit anybody. Actually, Grampus, turn around so that you can actually see the uh, see the targets again. Not entirely worried about them, you know, knowing I'm here because I'm not going to surface. This is this is just me having kind of having fun here with the game. We don't usually don't get a lot of action with the uh, submarines, so um, might as well take the chance or take the opportunity to shoot some torpedoes when it presents itself. But those torpedoes look like they're they could possibly be heading in the uh, direction the Kamigawa Maru is. There she is, right there. Well, they look better than the other ones did. But nevertheless, Grampus is going to... Sorry about that. Grampus is going to stay in the area for the time being. Um, we'll see if any... if any of these torpedoes actually hit they don't look bad this one will probably miss yeah yeah I haven't really uh, done a whole lot with submarines in this campaign as you can see they're all gonna miss well they didn't all miss so there's that all right, Grampus, go home. All right, so that right there was in this area here. So they're heading somewhere in this general direction. I'm going to bring Destroyer Squadron 2 up to patrol in this area here. Like that. Um, Rampus, stay there. Continue your patrol. Um, at some point in this episode, I'm going to redirect everything that we have in the area. Uh, Singapore has fallen. Singapore is now ours, uh, almost completely in our control. Uh, so there's that. Uh, we've got a, <laughs> a mess of ships, just not even moving, just hanging out here. Watch. Well, there's a few of them that are moving. The rest of them are just kind of sitting there. So uh, they're going to be needed to uh, pull all the troops off Singapore. 48,659 troops they are going to board their transports, head up to Malaya, the west coast of Malaya, um, while these guys move down the uh, east coast of Malaya, starting with Terracan right now, southern forts. Okay, unload. Barn Supply Group. Wish we didn't lose our supply when we take the base. Like, all of our supply just vanishes. And it's gone. Poof. Uh, we've got 7,000 troops still in Manila we could pull from. Um, but I'm thinking... 
what I'm thinking is, by the time we get done taking all of Borneo here, um, we can move everybody all at once, either up to Manila, or just have them come up and head for Okinawa. By the time that all that happens, we should have enough troops over here on Guam. Our first uh, troop shuttle just dropped troops off there. We should have enough that we could take the Guam force and send it to Iwo. So we may be able to do a one-two punch to finish this thing out. Uh, this Borneo Express here is heading down to Guam. They're going to drop the troops that they have off and then split the convoy so that the empty ships are headed back. Supply ships are going to be headed down, I'm assuming, Balak Poppin is where they're going to be needed. But we're also going to have to consider what we're going to need to take these two bases. But I'm going to try and uh, wrap this whole Borneo situation up within the next one or two episodes. Um, so there may be a lot of cutting. Uh, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of these guys. We did absolutely nothing to them. So chances are they're still just going to continue on their way. Probably didn't even know they had, uh, what did I launch? Six, ten, ten fish, ten torpedoes, ten high-quality Dollar General torpedoes. But thus is the struggle with the submarines in this game and in reality. So kudos to uh, a little bit of realistic gameplay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, focus on Borneo. We're going to build up our strength in Guam for the invasion of Iwo. Uh, when everything is good to go, probably from Manila with at least two full supply convoys and two full supply convoys for Iwo. It's a lot of supply convoys, but we've got them to spare. Now, that is what we're going to do. I told you it wasn't going to be long before we uh, found these guys. They did uh, continue completely on their way to Guam, kind of as expected. So we are going to engage them with our destroyers. All of our destroyers attack. Already getting a lot of good hits here at a magazine explosion here. Other ships are taking fire. All right, there's the first one down. Only had one ship targeting here too. Mayo, uh, we'll get you redirected to Earl Maru. Oh, you know what I mean? Ammo? Oh. Wow. I guess uh, I forgot to rearm these guys. So they'll have to make do with what they have, I guess. Nobody has any front gun armor. Alright, yeah, we're going to have to uh, do some different types of maneuvers here to get these guys' guns to bear. Alright, uh, Madison and Sigby and Conway. So the three of you, four of you, 
form up. The Coney. Let us have you turn south. Bring your uh, stern guns to bear. That must have been a reason why uh, I had the uh, destroyers out there. Right next to Guam. Uh, Coke. Who would that be? You? Number four. Oh, they suffered a magazine explosion. That, that was the one that I didn't catch on camera. Alright, let's make sure these guys are firing. Now they are. We're only 8,000 yards out, so. Chances are this isn't going to take very long. And then we're going to have to remember to rearm them. Hopefully we don't run out of ammo trying to blow these guys up. Anyone firing on this ship? There you are. They do have guns, so they are shooting back at us. Uh, Mayo. No torpedoes. Five torpedoes. We'll send them on a widespread. Like that. Just do torpedoes all around. That Conway. All right, how are we doing? There's another one down. Right, so we'll redirect whoever was shooting at her. How do we lose the Kamigawa Maru? What I'd like to know. Where the hell is the Kamigawa Maru? There she is out here. She's taking hits, so... Not entirely sure why... why uh... Uh, I'm looking at the wrong ship. Uh, Kamigawa Maru is lost. <laughs> I'm confused. They lost contact with somebody. So we are taking, uh, hitting them pretty good. I think, uh, that other ship is probably up here somewhere. There she is out there. Okay, let's have these guys fall in in this direction here. Uh, one, two, three, four... Warm up. Speed up. On the plus side, we haven't taken any damage. Right, someone just suffered a magazine explosion right there. that Kamigawa Maru found again. Have you come back this way? Right. 
We need to do some redirecting. We're losing them. Not entirely sure how. Have this group turn north. Right, she's not looking too good. Thinking sunk. Pearl Maru is the only one we can see. I guess I'd be okay disengaging if we can't find that other ship. But I know she's out there somewhere. She's probably way out in this direction. She left the rest of the group in the dust. I'm not. Uh, might as well target her and finish her off. Know she's out here somewhere. This is the rest of the group. There she is, right there. Off in this direction. Let's uh, turn this group north. We'll continue to hammer away at this uh, hospital ship until we uh, get her down. We did find the Osaka Maru, but I can't for the life of me find the other one. I know she's out here somewhere, but I'll be damned if I know where she is. I don't think this ship is, uh, yeah, just right now not capable of firing on her, so we'll turn her in a little bit. Uh, these two ships here decided to, uh, reform on their own so we'll get them formed up on their own I do want to save some torpedoes or some uh, shots for uh, that final ship I just I have no idea where she is I can't even see her out here that's us that's the ship we're attacking now. Earl Maru. She was up this way. I am not seeing her anywhere. At all. Not even through uh, max zoom on the binoculars. We can see this one. But I just I can't see the the other ship. I don't know where the hell she is. 
Looks like you're completely out of ammo. Yep. You've got 26 rounds left. We'll uh, let these guys target Osaka Maru. Why not? You're already targeting her. So are you. Probably going to have to chalk it up to that other ship we uh, lost contact with and got away. Which we could finish her off with planes. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to fire away while we... Uh, but we have the ammo. They got more ammo up here than uh, the rest of the group. Look at that spread. That would have been a nice spread for a full convoy. That's like 15, 20 torpedoes in the water right there. Missing everything in sight, too. So hopefully it's not too long before the ship succumbs to her damages. After action report shows that the Kamigawa Maru that vanished off the face of the earth was not damaged at all. They just disappeared. So uh, there is one ship still out there. I guess this is going to be that they're going to turn back uh, so we can keep our destroyers kind of handy. Uh, we could also launch a strafing run with our um, land-based fighter craft to finish her off. Not really opposed to doing that, it's just one ship, so it shouldn't be too hard to uh, finish off the Kamigawa Maru. Kamigawa Maru didn't get very far before our destroyers encountered again, them again. I didn't even bother taking it off auto fire, because I usually take that off first thing, but we'll just let them, uh, let them pound away at the uh, Kamigawa Maru as our... Um, as our Corsairs move into the uh, area, I got them in box formation, kind of. These guys look like they're struggling to catch up, but that's fine. Uh, we're already getting hits on the Kamigawa Maru. If, if the Corsairs happen to get there, they could always strafe. So... I guess we'll find out. I didn't put any armaments on them or anything, but there is our group. All right, let's get everyone slowed down and attack. You guys can move in on your strafing run. You better hurry. I guess I could hold fire with the... Uh, with the destroyers here. All right, cease your fire. Not sure why they separated like this, but that's okay. <clears throat> They're coming in at a good angle to uh, strafe. Last of our shells are moving in. Good thing they uh, spawned the ship where they did, or we wouldn't have been able to shoot at them. Half of our ships don't have any ammo whatsoever. It didn't really give me a chance to uh, move Destroyer Squadron 1 out. So, 
All right, here come the Corsairs. They're getting lit up by their anti-aircraft. Uh, before they hit, let's see what the damages are. Heavy and moderate. Corsairs for the win. Wildcats patrolling above USS Wasp. USS Wasp have been detected by Japanese torpedo bombers. So they know our carriers are in the area and, and what area they're in. They're just off of Manila. Uh, so we're going to have to do something about that. We've got three groups of three. Coming in on us. We've got our pilots moving into position to attack. I don't really consider this much of a threat just because we have all 24 of our Wildcats up, but still have to be kind of careful here. We don't want to, you know, lose a carrier, lose my first carrier in the uh, campaign. Shoot him, please. All right, there's that one. There's that one. We have anyone left? Nine out of nine down. All right. All right, very good. Very good, very happy. Very happy. Wasp. Cruise on, Wasp. Alrighty. Here we are at Bellic Poppin. We're ready to move this forward here. We're gonna just go ahead and unload all cargo. And move them out. South Force has supplies. Barnes is moving out. Southern Invasion Force has supplies. We'll unload all the supplies that they have. Move them out. Uh, Task Force 62. Unload. Move them out. And then I think... Uh, let's... Noah Supply Troops. Yep, there we go. There we go. All right, I did hold South Force back. South Force has uh, supplies if we don't need the supplies to take Balak Poppin. Um, how that... And now, not looking bad. If we don't need the supplies, we can uh, use the supplies from the South Force down here at Banja Mason to take that. Uh, the Borneo Express is on its way with supplies, uh, so we need to get our, some of our supply convoys in to Singapore to start pulling off the groups that we have there. Uh, who are you? Southern Supply Force. 
Get you guys in there. South Supply. Make sure they don't have anything before I send them in there. There's that. And then Invasion 3. They're all going to go into uh, Singapore because we've got 48,000 troops there. All right. So this is heading over here. Uh, we do have 87 command points. I've got uh, Task Force 50. Going to head up. We've got a Bogue Breton sitting here waiting. Uh, we don't really have anything on Midway to take. So uh, they're going to hang out there for the time being. Our troops, shuttles, moving troops down. Fuels moving fuel down. Uh, Task Force 65 is heading up. So it's looking pretty good here. Uh, sometime before the end of this episode, I am going to, like I said, redo everybody. Um, I need, I'd probably say, I've got three destroyer squadrons and three fast attack squadrons. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I got enough uh, right now. Oh, I've got two cruiser groups too that are sitting here. Um, I've got enough now. I don't really know if I'm going to actually need any more warships uh, to finish the campaign out. But I may bring out a couple more just so we can have some really good coverage everywhere we need it. Uh, so... Uh, we're going to do Balak Poppin, get the guys off Singapore, move them over to Kuching. Alright. We did take uh, a little bit of a punch in the face here. These guys were right here. And then, somehow, they got past. We did manage to catch up to them, though, so we're going to engage them. It uh, says four ships. Let's see what we have here. Hopefully. Just hopefully. They can see them. Pretty rainy. So chances are we're not going to be able to see them. They're going to land troops on Cebu. And it's going to piss me off. So. Anything. Right there. Maybe. Maybe. Right there. Speed up. That's got to be them right there. It's the only other... The only shadows on the water. Quite possibly. So, these guys are going to search for them. They better be able to find them. Because if they can't, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. Okay, so we did find them. Thank God we found them. There's three of them. <clears throat> We're already scoring some good hits here. Uh, the other, the other two are out here. This little guy. This slightly bigger guy. Uh, but we are fully engaged, and I'm sure this convoy isn't going to last very long. Uh, we may actually... There we go. Alright, let's get everyone else focused on hospital ship here. Right there. Honolulu. We do the same. A uh, little rock, you're a little far out still, but that's all right. Uh, you can fire. Anyone firing on this guy, or is this all accidental? Oh, we got the Chevalier. And I believe that's it. Chevalier's firing on that guy. All right, well, there's our one, uh, one victim so far. We can see our ships off in the distance lighting up the uh, convoy. 
guy's not having a good day. I'd say uh, Cebu isn't worth it for him, but that's just me. As day breaks, we have a convoy here to say hello. Hellcats, nothing. Uh, Corsairs, nothing. I'm guessing that's going to be good. I'm not even going to send any bombers. Well, maybe. We'll do torp torpedoes on the Beauforts. Why not? Let's just see what it is. Ooh, look at all those planes go crazy-like. There they are right out there. All right. Got six Beauforts. Three ships. That's two Beauforts per... Just split all these guys off. Break them all. And we'll form. And hit the deck. Out like this. Form. Hit the deck. You guys can come out this way. Warm, hit the deck and come out like this. Uh, these guys, Wildcats, hit the deck. I should just warm them all up. Let's do box. Box seems to work pretty good. Box. And it's entertaining to watch. These guys, box, hit the deck, come back around like that. Let the Beauforts uh, use their torpedoes, because, well, why not? I'm going to attack them from the rear, like that. Everyone's going to get into position. We've got three supply ships. Beauforts are moving in. Hellcats are moving in. Corsairs are moving in. Looking good. Alright, first two Corsairs are moving in with their torpedoes. They've dropped. Of course, we lost one. They're looking pretty good. Uh, second group of Corsairs is moving in from over here. And the third is following behind them. Uh, I might get one hit here. One hit. One hit, one miss. Second group of Corsairs coming in. They've dropped. Here comes the third group out here. Those are looking pretty good for a midship hit. Remember, I got my fighters in the area, too. This should be two hits there. Uh, not seeing the torpedoes. They still have them. Yeah, they didn't drop. Whoops. All right, we'll come back around. 
Uh, and in the meantime, let's have you guys come back and target him. Or Sarah's, where are you going? So I should have turned him around. Bring him back. And target number one. Alright. These guys attack. Just when you attack a convoy, you actually have to give them the order to attack. Or they just fly on by. Spotters. That's what they are. They're spotters. Uh, these guys, I want you to slow down. Going on the attack, too. You can attack simultaneously. It'll be a shitty day for this guy. Doesn't know who to shoot at. I think I'd shoot at the Corsairs, too, or the uh, Beauforts, too. There's the drop. Luckily, we only lost one Corsair, or uh, Beaufort. Here comes our strafing run. Oh, those might get one hit. One hit there. There you go. There you go, guys. Good job. All right. Warm up. All right, there's one down. If you guys move in on the attack, I probably should have slowed him down a little bit here. Here, slow down. Then attack. Uh, you can retarget number two, because number two is... Number two may accidentally run into a torpedo, if we're lucky. Finding new and interesting ways to attack supply convoys is getting to be quite the challenge. Oh, that was lame. I run out of ammo already. Next strafing run, nabs us a magazine explosion. I'm gonna pause right here. We'll just select all of you, form up. I don't know if they can quickly change course and attack him, but they're gonna try. Oh yeah, they did. Alright, there's another one down. Send you back. Just to be on the safe side. I think he's gonna sink in the meantime, but... Critical and critical. They'll probably sink before he even... The, uh... Yep, there we go. Good. Alright. So, another supply convoy down. Another base safe. Not too bad. Best Attack 2 has drawn some attention to themselves from uh, the island of Formosa in their full strength airbase. Uh, we do have cap above Fast Attack 2, and they're heading in to uh, deal with the threat of the Japanese torpedo planes. There's 12 of them. Uh, looks like we're dividing our forces nicely between the groups. So, we've got some good cover for us for ourselves here. Might just manually take control of this guy and shoot one of them down at least. Whoops, stop shooting. All right, there's one flight down. All 
I think the other flight is down as well. Now everyone's moving in on uh, these guys here. And there we go. There we go. Towie Towie. Towie Towie. You've got some company, Towie Towie. There we go. Uh, who do we want to send? Torpedoes. Avengers. 16 of them with torpedoes. All right. Uh, Wildcats escort the Avengers in. Like that. And Towie Towie will uh, be safe. I think, uh, no, it's a three port. Oh, a level three port, really? Hmm. And we still have 27,000 troops there. Wow. Forgot about 27,000 troops. I thought most of them were in the uh, force invading Balak Poppin here. So 27,000 and 31,000 is 50, 58,000, almost 54,000 troops. Uh, Kuching's going pretty good. 45,000 troops, they're almost dead. Um, everyone else is just kind of sitting here doing nothing. I, I haven't set up any new uh, sectors for them to patrol. Um, what I'm thinking is I'm going to send... Hmm. I may send the uh, the big guns into Okinawa and Iwo Jima to prep them, to get them down to uh, level nothing, or maybe these two. I don't know. I think it'd just probably be better off bombing Okinawa and Iwo Jima and then dealing with the air attacks because we got a whole ton of um, cap that's available to us. We've also got 207 command points. Uh, with those 207 command points, I could put together at least two 10-ship destroyer groups. Uh, that way we can have coverage of the no bases that they've been known to attack uh, down in here. Um, I'm going to have to go through every single one of my fleets and... Uh, decide what I want to do with them. I mean, we've got a pretty solid line here, but they still managed to sneak like this when we were at uh, Cebu. Bass Attack 2 right here, which has to be renamed uh, to something else because they're two Fast Attack 2s. So we'll just go Fast Attack... Or, because I don't remember if there's a three or not. But they were sitting. Yeah, I mean, you saw it. They were sitting right here. Not a lot of places for the enemy to get through. And suddenly they appeared behind me. So well, they're going to sit right there on top of Cebu. Uh, everyone else is going to find a new, uh, a new home fairly soon. Uh, the plan is to set up a, an arc like this. I don't want to get too close to Formosa, Hong Kong, or Saigon, uh, and then have to deal with that. Um, but I am going to have to bring some of my destroyers down to guard in this area against stuff like this um, that our Wildcats and our Hellcats are going to, uh, or our Wildcats and our Avengers are going to deal with right now. All right, first group's moving in. Second group's moving in. Third group's moving in. Fourth group's moving in. Uh, fifth group, I'm going to have you come out this way. Along with this uh, stray here. You can actually attack now. There we go. Everybody's moving in on the attack. This guy's going to take a lot of torpedoes. Counting for duds and misses. I see at least four.
My wildcats went back because of uh, the darkness. One. Holy shit, really? Okay. This one's still getting hit by torpedoes back here. Uh, I'm gonna grab... We have 16, I'll grab 8. Warm them up in the box. And we'll grab eight more. Form them up in the box. Because I know Avengers aren't exactly good with the uh <laughs> good with the strafing, but we got some crazy crazy formations going on here. This one may take a torpedo on accident. Maybe. Oh, never mind. Torpedoes are going in the wrong direction. Uh, so this group... Let's slow you down. Just have you uh, go strafe. And then you... I want you to move in on this guy. Go strafe. Not the traditional use of an Avenger torpedo bomber, but it is what it is. It's effective. I mean, there you go. Alright, let's uh, select all these guys, form them up. Have you just swing back around and hit him? Might be too high. I don't know where the other ones are. Oh, here they come. Killed some uh, helmsmen there. Here's the rest of them. Finishing them off. There we go. It's a beautiful thing, guys. Yeah, another supply convoy. Uh, luckily, we got our planes in there in time. Uh, we've got 16 Avengers, 24 Wildcats. The Avengers are moving into position to launch their torpedoes. They should be good right now. Send them in on the attack. And we'll send you in on the attack. Heck. Right. Got a three ship convoy again. going to get it from both sides. Where'd the other one go? There it is. One dud. Two duds. This guy's getting hit by duds left and right. Definitely lucking out, but he's got another flight coming in on, or another uh, spread coming in on him. These guys got a little bit out of position. That's all right. That was a dud. What the hell's this guy? Oh, come back. Back. 
Oh, wait. I don't want you to come back. Alright, well. You have a ton of wildcats, too, so they're going to see some action. Uh, if they don't fly off in the wrong direction, leave the engagement. I think we're going to go for a strafing run on number three, since that one took the most duds I've ever seen. Oh my god. These guys aren't even down to altitude. Whoops. Well... He is. I guess it's a matter of who gets down to altitude first, right? Uh, so the next 12. Oh, we're still way out there. What are you doing? Oh, you're, uh, you already, you already dropped. Getting close. Getting close. All right, you can move in. You can move in. Most of these guys don't look too bad. None and none. Pretty piss poor torpedo attack, I'd say. All right, he's dropped. The other three coming in, plus a strafing run if necessary. Dud. Dud and two misses. Oh my god. <laughs> well, thankfully we have wildcats to do the, the uh, strafing. Somewhere. There they are. Oh boy. One wildcat down. Let's grab. Grab all the wildcats. They haven't it. That have already attacked. Have them form up. Drop your speed. And come in on number two. Right, this group of wildcats. Okay. Have you come in on number one? These guys are still circling down. Did they they did drop, right? Yeah, they dropped. Not sure why they're circling around like that. This little guy has already taken torpedo damage. Alright, there's number one. Number one is sinking. All right, Wildcats. Form up. And attack one more time. Never mind. All right, we did good. We did good. We got them all down. All right, so that's right there. Somewhere. There they are. Right there, Del Monte. It's all going to be part of the... Uh, part of the reorganization of forces that we'll start our next episode with. Um, Brunei is just about under our control. Uh, Kuching, Banja Mason, under our control. Bellic Poppin, under our control. So, uh, Borneo is now ours. So, what's that mean for us? We've got two bases left, Iwo and Okinawa. And uh, for the first time in a long time, 
basically the whole series. I've got uh, overabundance of command points. I've got an overabundance of troops. And I'm soon going to have an overabundance of supplies. And an overabundance of troop transports, supply transports, surface fleets, carrier groups. This isn't far from being over. And I'm kind of looking forward to it being over so we can move on to uh, what's next. Um, we'll talk more about that in a future episode. Uh, what's next for War on the Sea on the channel. Anyway, if you like this one, hit the like button. If you have any thoughts, tips, or advice, leave those in the comment section down below. If you'd like to follow along, hit the subscribe, and uh, we'll see you for 93, J76NY, saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.